30 seconds and counting. Astronauts report it feels good. T minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence starts. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Roger, we got a roll for Tower man. cleared. Roger, roll. July 16th, 1969, Colonel Edwin E. Aldrin, Jr., Lieutenant Colonel Michael Collins, and Neil A. Armstrong, riding atop a mighty Saturn V rocket, snug in their Apollo 11 command module, lifting off from Cape Kennedy to begin a 251,000-mile flight to the moon and a rendezvous with man's closest celestial neighbor. An adventure for mankind and the fulfillment of a national goal set eight years earlier. In those years, other men had flown in spaceships, and some had flown to and around the moon. But Apollo 11's two spacecraft, the command ship Columbia and the lunar module Eagle, were to take men to the moon and put two of them on her surface. In the first critical minutes of the Apollo 11 flight, the decision had to be made whether Apollo could leave the Earth's environment and begin the long journey toward the moon. Translunar injection. T-L-I. Apollo 11, this is Houston. You are go for T-L-I. Over. Apollo 11, thank you. Roger out. A crucial moment, the firing of Columbia's rocket to put Apollo 11 on her path to the moon. Ignition. We confirm ignition and the thrust is go. Houston at one minute. Trajectory and guidance look good, and the stage is good. Over. Apollo 11, aren't you? 35,000 feet per second. Cut off. Trailing velocity 35,570 feet per second. Altitude 177 nautical miles. Okay, Houston, uh, Apollo 11, that's that in, gave us a magnificent ride. Uh, Roger, 11, we'll pass that on, and it certainly looks like you're well on your way now. On their way to the moon, their two spaceships linked together, the Apollo 11 crew presented the first of a number of television broadcasts their transmission originating 130,000 miles from Earth. Houston, uh, the, uh, the definition is uh, pretty good on our monitor here. The color's not too uh, varsity, at, le at least on this set. Uh, could you describe what you're uh, looking at, over? Roger, you're seeing Earth as uh, we see it at uh, our left-hand window. It's a little more than a half Earth. Uh, we're looking at uh, the eastern Pacific Ocean and the north half of the top half of the screen uh, we can see uh, North America, Alaska, United States, Canada, Mexico, and Central America. South America becomes invisible just off beyond the Terminator or inside the shadow. You can see uh, the oceans with uh, a definite blue cast. See white bands of major cloud formations across the earth.